So what are the three best ways to finance a property? So you wanna buy a property, you wanna flip it, and you wanna know how do you finance that property. So the first two I'll tell you is without using any of your own money or your own credit. And the last one I'll tell you does require some of that, some of the time, so stick with me. Number one I'm gonna tell you is seller financing. Seller financing, do you know there are motivated sellers that are willing to hold the paper? In other words, let's say that you found a motivated seller, someone that wants to sell a property. And let's say that they want a little more than you're willing to give them. What you can say is this, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, what I'd like to do is this. You're, you're, you need $100,000 for the house. I wanna pay you $85,000 for the house. What you can do is this. Say, listen, what I'll do is I'll give you the $100,000 as soon as I flip the house. So in about six months, I'll give you the $100,000. So you'll sign a contract that says they are gonna be the mortgage holder or they are gonna be the financer of the deal. So they will actually get their money as soon as you flip the house. And there's some more complications to figuring all that out and you have to have the right paperwork, but that's the gist of it. The gist of it is the seller becomes the bank and they hold the note for you. That's a way you can do this without using your own money or your own credit. Number two is a thing called subject to financing, subject to financing. It is a way that you can actually buy properties and take over the title of a house subject to all existing liens and financing on the property. Now, again, this is a little more complicated. You're gonna to wanna to get around professionals like us to learn how to do it and have the right paperwork. But even if you don't have good credit, you can actually take over the payments on somebody's house. Can you believe that? That's a big thing coming up as foreclosures start to get better this year, or not better, but more foreclosures this year. As that starts to appear more, that'll be a, a way that you can fund houses by simply helping people get out of tough situations. So let's say someone's falling behind in a house payment. Let's say they're a month or two behind and their payment is $1,500 a month for argument's sake. Let's say if they're two months behind, they're about to go into foreclosure. You know, you can come in and for $3,000, you can actually pay off their back uh, in arrears, what they're, what they're behind in their mortgage payment, bring that mortgage current, have the title go in your name. And the biggest thing I wanna remind you about subject to financing is that you'll then take over the payments on that house and you'll have ownership of that house at that moment. There's a thing called the, the, the uh, do on sale clause you wanna worry about. Now you can learn more about that at our upcoming home flipping workshop. So go to homeflippingworkshop.com and learn more about that. But what I want you to know is that there are, those are two ways you can buy a house without using any of your own money or your own credit. And it's something that I do. Even though I have excellent credit, Amber and I have amazing credit, right? We've been doing this for a lot of years. We've owned dozens of houses and we've flipped uh, 850 houses ourselves. We've been doing, we, we have access to a lot of capital. We still use these methods because they're easy and they're usually less expensive than other methods. So just because you have excellent credit doesn't mean you don't, ha you don't wanna use these things. So don't be, don't be a financing snob, right? Make sure that you actually have all these different tools in your um, tool pouch to finance houses. The last way I'll tell you is this, private lenders. Private lenders are the number one way that we fund our houses. What's a private lender? A private lender is just an individual it's not, a, it's not an organization, it's an individual that has capital that they're willing to give you to finance houses. Now, there's a lot more to it that I can give you in this one simple post, but basically you find somebody that has money, they have a home equity line of credit, they have cash, they have uh, an IRA, you can, you can get them stuff from what's called a self-directed IRA, we'll talk about that in future videos. And these are things that you can, you can use, they can invest in you. They get a mortgage on the property, so they're protected in case you default. They also get the property, uh, you're gonna have the property insured, and so you'll name them as an additional insurer, so they're also protected there. Now there's all different ways, you know, there's, there's a whole training we can do on how to do um, private lenders and private financing, but that's the third way. So just remember as you're out there, seller financing is a great way to do it, subject to financing is another way, great way to finance your properties. And number three, private lenders is another great way. Listen, if you have questions and you wanna know more about what's going on in this noggin, right, and what we've done to flip the close to a thousand houses now, and we still do over a hundred deals a year, and we still now we teach what we do. If you wanna learn more, put some questions in the chat below. We'd love to uh, answer your questions in future upcoming um, posts, and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. I hope that helps today. Remember, you don't have to have great credit to buy houses, but even if you have great credit, don't be a credit snob. You can still use these methods even if you have excellent credit. Hope that helps you today.